Hello, Inglewood. I'm Tom Blackwell, and this is KTYMGospel.net, newly KTYMMedia.com. And we're here today to celebrate a grand opening, and we just have an open house, inviting the neighbors to come in and see what we're doing here at KTYM. We've done a lot of improvements, and we really want to just show off and, and show the public what we can do from this radio station, a classic gospel radio station that's been here since 1958, and we're going to take it another step higher. I have with me today one of our very special guests from the city of Inglewood, Councilman Ralph Franklin. He's going to be with us today, and he's going to share some good information. How you doing, Councilman? Very well, Pastor Blackwell, Reverend Blackwell. It's great to have this powerful gospel radio right here in the city of Inglewood, and actually we're celebrating its first anniversary at this new facility, Amen. of which I participated as well. And it's a great honor knowing that you are doing L Lord's work, and we are just disciples doing the best we can using the, using the word that is in our spirits. Amen. So the city of Inglewood actually has taken on major progress. Mm -hmm. uh, since 2014, we have the Madison Square Gardens acquiring the form, and it is the number one venue in Southern California. And we're moving forward now as of uh, January of last year. Mm -hmm. We now have the new NFL teams coming, both the Rams and the Chargers. And Stan Kroenke, the owner of the Rams, has now acquired the entire 298 acres of property, acquiring the balance of the 238 acres that was once held by the Hollywood Park Land Company. Okay. So he now has this massive development where there's going to be 850,000 square feet of office space, oh, yeah. 750,000 square feet of retail space, and they're looking to have 2,500 units identified as luxury units, both housing and apartments, townhomes, right there in that complex alone. You mean when I get enough money in my pocket, I can move over there? <laughs> well, I'm not about moving over there, but you certainly can patronize. <laughs> Okay. Because there's going to be a, a lot of retail. There's mm. still going to have the five water features, that which are going to have a restaurants that you can walk around. Like okay. think of the racetrack that used to be there. You'll walk right around and, and oh, be able to patronize as well. 25 acres of open green space yeah. that will be there as well. And also four acres has been designated for civic use. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. So when is all this is going to take place now? How long before we see any... Uh, so we've already broke ground. Uh, I should say the developer has already broke ground. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, those that live in the immediate area off of Prairie and Pinkay Drive or 90th Street, mm -hmm. you'll find out that the stadium has already started its process where they actually had to dig 109 feet down into the ground called the bowl. Wow. And because of, they were digging... Uh, last year, we had a torrential amount of rain in February, okay. and it has delayed the project for three years. So instead of it being done as we was hoped by 2019, now we're looking close to 2020. Wow. It's going to be made. But um, the ideal, though, that that is one of the main venues that they were, they're looking to have with the 6,000 square feet of performing arts theater, which also is going to be there. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be the mega center of, of entertainment and sports. Wow. We're also looking at a proposal, not confirmed yet, but a proposal with Steve Ballmer, who is the owner of the NBA Clippers, of having a new arena immediately across the street from that location. That is in the works as we speak. Uh, Mr. Ballmer showed his uh, good faith efforts of, by depositing $1.2 million non-refundable to show his firm commitment that he would like to acquire the arena uh, in the city of Inglewood. So that's across from? Immediately south of Century, mm -hmm. on the other side of Century, oh. in Prairie. Beautiful. Well, tell me, what, what are you doing in, in your uh, so in, in, So the city of Inglewood, particularly in District 4, we are actually working on major infrastructure improvements. Mm -hmm. As you know, that in order to have all this new entertainment that's going to come through the city, we better have the traffic flow to be able to handle it. That's so we are dealing with Central Boulevard as we speak. Again, uh, it's a project that will take until 2019 from the city boundary lines from Van Ness on the east to La Cienega on the west. A $35 million resurfacing street project, which means all of the infrastructure underneath is now being modified. We have also have the Hollywood Park development properties that they gave us 10 feet both on the 
north side of Century Boulevard of their property line and also on the west side of their property line for an additional right-hand turn lane to go in and out of the um, um, their, their center. Well, that's going to make a big difference. Yeah. And we also are going to have at the intersection of Crenshaw and Century dual left-hand turn lanes to allow the traffic to be able to go uh, north and west as well as east. Now, I know a lot of people know you You do things here in the city of Inglewood, but I want to let our listeners know that you also supported our church for many years, many number of years we have had you to um, <clears throat> and be a support to our church. But one thing you did that always stood out with me, uh, we went into Kenya back in 2000, and you supported us on that endeavor. Because of that, we were able to establish a, a church in Imali, uh, secondary school in Imali, and then an orphanage in Mombasa. And you know today those things are still going on. Praise God. That pastor that I visited in Imali, he has now become the bishop. He's over the bishop over 50 churches, and they have uh, built a large auditorium in Mombasa. That's all because of people like you who dedicated to the cause, saw a need, and helped us out. And I just personally want to thank you for that. I don't know if I officially gave you. <laughs> well, I appreciate you, the the gratitude, yeah. but everything comes from the heart. Yeah. Uh, as a disciple, uh, you have to be a cheerful giver. And KTYM Radio is one of those is broadcasting gospel music, yeah. gospel news. Right. And this is some of the examples how we as disciples of Christ are yielding vessels, regardless of the positions that we hold, to say that we can do, we can make a difference. We can. And, you know, um, with prayer, prayer changes things, and actions speak loud in words. And so by my actions, I blend it with the other actions, mm-hmm. we've been able to bless many others on this on this earth. Well, I truly thank you, and, and, and we all thank you, especially our pastor, thank you. He was supposed to be here today, and he's a little bit under the weather, but uh, I'm sure that all of us, we appreciate the things that you've done here in the city, and uh, we just Pray our blessings upon you, especially KTYM and all of our listeners. Uh, this station has been here for since 1958, and that's a long time. And we hope to make it a historical landmark that we can keep and preserve this building and this institution to take the gospel. KTYM AM only served the Los Angeles area, but with internet radio, now we can serve the world. Praise God. We're reaching uh, those countries, uh, and, and I passed it down in uh, uh, Kenya, Nairobi. He's been able to tune in, and we're getting calls from all over the United States, so that's the good thing about it. So we're right in line with Inglewood as moving up and doing things that's going to help and, and, and make an impact on us. We truly thank you for stopping by today and giving us a, just a word of encouragement. Well, I give God the glory, and thank you, Pastor uh, Reverend Blackwell, for your outstanding commitment of the word and be on a yielding vessel and this powerful gospel radio, KTYM, in the city of Inglewood. God bless you and your organ operations. All right. You heard it there. We've got it best right here at KTYM. We want to thank Councilman Franklin for taking time out of his busy schedule to come and be with us today. And you've got it best right here on KTYM. So just tune in to KTYM media.com on your smartphone your cell phone your whatever you have in your automobiles soon they'll be coming out you can plug right into your wi-fi but it's ktymmedia.com may god bless you and keep you have a blessed day